Happy Wednesday. How you doing, huh? Hey, I got news for you. Today is my birthday. I'm turning the big three, four. Three, four. Here comes you know who. Happy uh, birthday. Thank you. Happy 34th birthday. 34. Again. Hey. <laughs> 34, I'm turning 34 years old. I'm not embarrassed about my age. People tell me I don't look 34. A lot of people tell me that. I say, they say, how old are you? I say, 34, and they go, right. See, they agree with me. They just roll their eyes for emphasis. I like 34. I picked the age of, you can be any age you want. I picked 34. It's just a number, Mary says. It's just a number. Hey, I want to talk to you today about breaking generational curses and be healed. How to break generational curses and be healed. Amen. This is going to be good. Being healed of, of uh, sickness and disease and financial problems. How many of you know that uh, if you're broke, your finances are sick? Amen. Mine were. But I'm going to show you how to heal those and how to heal your body. And it's, it's so simple, folks. This is so simple. Do not be deceived by how simple this is. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Amen. Hallelujah. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the best preacher in the country. Everybody always says, hold up the certificate. There it is. Other people think they might be the best preacher in the country, but they don't have the certificate. The certificate proves it. You got to have credentials, folks. You got to have, you know, if if you say, well, I graduated from high school, you got to have a diploma. I actually graduated from the fifth grade. It took me three years, but I graduated from the fifth grade and they gave me a diploma. So I can prove it that I am well educated. And 34 years old. That's a little harder to prove. Amen. But I got a diploma from the fifth grade. I just have to find it. I'm not sure where it is. It might have gotten lost in the move. Amen. Glory to God. So always make a good confession every day. Say good things about yourself. Go to our website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And there's over 1,300 videos in there. Glory to God, huh? Hallelujah. I am always ready to pray with our partners, except please don't call me before nine o'clock in the morning because we're doing broadcasts. And if somebody calls through, if somebody rings this phone, it kicks off the whole broadcast is all discombobulated. So I'm going to get another phone to do my broadcast with. Actually, I have another phone. I'm just getting it set up. Amen. Another phone. I'm going to use Jean's phone. Amen. Because Jean left us. She went to be with the Lord. And we had her on our uh, phone program. And she has beautiful iPhone 11. So I'm going to use that one instead of this one. Then that way, if calls come through, it won't ruin anything. So praise God. Amen. But call me after nine o'clock in the morning. I'll be glad to talk to you. I love to talk to God's people. Amen. And uh, also share these videos with everybody you know. Tell everybody you know, I know where the best preacher in the country is. Watch these videos. And you can call them. That's one of the criteria to be the best preacher in the country. You must be available. And I am, I'm not the only one that can do what I do, but I'm the only one who does it, who is available to talk to people.
Amen. So glory to God. Hallelujah. And when you do your offerings and donations today, make sure you call me because I want to speak the blessing over you today. Hey, let's get to this. Breaking generational curses, how to break generational curses and be healed. It comes out of this book. Now, a lot of you have this book. We sent out a bunch of these books last week. Generational curses cause sickness and disease and poverty. Generational curse can go back as much as one generation or it can go back th a thousand years. Amen. How many of you know that most sick people come from sick families. Most people who are alcoholics come from alcoholic families. Amen. Most people who have gambling problems and bad habits and things like that come from families who did the same thing. Most people who have heart disease and cancer and blood pressure and diabetes come from families who had all that. And you can go back many generations. Poor people, almost all poor people, 99.999% of all poor people come from poor families. Now, why is that? Because of generational curses. That's why I tell people, if you're, if you're broke, if you're poor, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's the result of a curse. And sometimes the poor people will get themselves educated and, and go to college, but they still struggle. I did. I've been to, to, I graduated from college, graduate school, seminary. That's about as well educated as you get. That's like seven years of college I've had. But I struggled with my finances until... That generational curse was broken. In my case, the generational curse over my finances only went back one generation. My grandfathers on both sides were very well off. My uncles on both sides, very well off. But my dad wasn't. I believe he was cursed by his father. He was cursed because... His father said to him, you'll never amount to anything if you leave California and go back to Pennsylvania. And he did. They had a big falling out. Let me tell you, folks, the last person in this world you want to have a falling out with is your father because he has the power to curse you. Now, if he did, that can be broken. If you've been cursed by your father or cursed by your parents or cursed by your husband, you, that can be broken. I do this all the time. We have people who have been cursed by their, their parents and, and we break it and they become very prosperous. Amen? In my case, I, I, my dad did not curse me himself, but the curse was passed down. It was a generational thing. Once I broke that curse of poverty, my finances got healed automatically. A curse is continual permission for demons to operate in your life. Noah cursed one of his sons. He said, you shall be a servant. Your, your, all your descendants will be servants. And his, he, he allowed the demons to get into his son's life and cause them to be servants. Amen. But that can be broken. If you feel like you're, you're down there, you're a descendant of Noah, and I have no idea who is, but if you feel like maybe that's that you, you're constantly working for low wages, that's, that's a servant. You very well may be in that category. Maybe that curse is upon you. It can be broken. If you've worked hard all your life for very little wages, maybe something that Noah said over one of his sons has trickled down. Who knows? Curses can be there for thousands of years. They don't go away, but they can be broken. So easy and so quick. When I broke that curse of poverty, I said, I break that curse 
in Jesus' name. And I mean, everything changed. We're now in abundance. Everything I do works out. I've never, nobody in my family, even my grandparents as well off as they were, never lived like this. One of them might have, but most of them didn't. I'll tell you what, because the blessing is upon me. The blessing cannot get into your life if the generational curse is there. Your body cannot get healed of heart disease, of cancer, of all kinds of things, if that curse is in there. Jesse Duplan has had a history uh, of generational curse of heart disease running through his family. He didn't have it because he broke it. A lot of his family died young of heart disease. He didn't. And he won't because he broke it. Glory to God. I'm telling you, this is so simple, people. You don't have to put up with these curses. Curses of cancer, curses of heart disease. Curses can get started just as simple as, you know, a father telling his son, you'll never amount to anything. You're dumb. If, if a father tells his son you're stupid, all of his descendants will be stupid. Amen. Now, just have trouble figuring things out. Just it's like their mind doesn't work right. They can be broke. It can be broke through the power in the name of Jesus. I'm telling you what, folks, there is nothing we can't do through the power in the name of Jesus. We can break these curses. Once we break these curses, your whole life changes. It's just wonderful. It's wonderful what happens. Your bodies will heal. If you've got cancer going on, you know, when people call me with a, and they've had a diagnosis of, diagnosis of cancer, the first thing I do is break these generational curses because that takes away the, the demon's permission to be there and they will leave. They can't stay there without permission. Everything is subject to spiritual laws. A spirit of poverty cannot stay in your life without permission from a curse. Once that curse is broken, the spirit of poverty leaves. Did with me. And believe me, I had a spirit of poverty on my life. I mean, demons were in there. They were working on just against me at every turn. They stole everything I ever had. Every time I would get any money, just something would come along and steal it. It was the devil stealing my money through these curses. But once I broke them, money started to accumulate because now nothing steals it. I keep the devil out of my life. Why do you think Kenneth Copeland is so successful? Because he lives an unhindered life. He has no curses going on in his life. He's broke them all. Amen? And it's not like he never did, but he broke them. Everybody's had some kind of curses going on in their life. You call me today. Let me break all these curses in your life, folks. And I mean to tell you, things will change. Now, I talk a lot about these curses because these curses are running wild in the church. And that should not be. Amen. Glory to God. We can break these curses. Your body will heal. Your finances will heal. I'm telling you what, your whole life will change simply by lifting these curses off of you. A curse is like a wet blanket hanging over you. When I broke that curse of poverty on my life, I felt like somebody reached out and pulled a wet blanket off me. And my whole life changed. Glory to God. You call me today. We'll get that done for you. Amen. Was that good? Go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell everybody you know about these videos. Have them call me. I believe when you partner with a ministry, you should have access to the minister. All of my partners do, but please don't call me before nine o'clock in the morning, okay? Any other time, I am ready, willing, and able to take phone calls. I even answer the phone if I'm out to dinner, amen? Because I love to talk to God's people. Also, when you do your offerings and donations today, make sure you call me, because I want to speak the word for word blessing over you, and I want to break every curse and make sure that the devil is not running wild in your life. I'm determined you're going to live a curse-free, blessed life. And I will use the power in the name of Jesus to make it happen.